Welcome back to this edition of On Every Front, showcasing our citizen soldiers and airmen as they answer our nation's call to duty. I'm your host, Army National Guard Staff Sergeant Adam Fishman. Although the United States military is arguably the most technologically advanced on the planet, it's that very sophistication that just might be its Achilles heel if cyber terrorists have their way. Because cyber threats are a Department of Defense-wide issue, whether at work or at home, citizen soldiers and airmen must constantly be aware of the dangers of being online. Senior leaders in the department and beyond the department understand that cyber is a problem, cyber is important, They've made cyber a priority, and there's a sense of urgency. A cyber attack perpetrated by nation states or violent extremist groups could be as destructive as the terrorist attack on 9-11. Secretary Hagel referred to the cyber threat as an insidious, dangerous threat. Uh, unfortunately, any, anything that you can possibly do in the computer has a risk. Mm -hmm. such as uh, going to a website and uh, while browsing that website you, uh, you automatically download something you're really not aware of or you know that you just clicked on something that it looked like you are interested in mm -hmm. and by downloading this particular um, web page uh, you download a code that now can install itself like a Trojan into uh, the hard drive for it, the future, for a future call from, so to speak, mothership right. for certain information such as your bank, bank account. But there are other problems coming our way or already here. And those include disruption. And we're seeing that go on right now. In fact, the media has reported uh, a series of, of disruptive attacks in the last two months against banks at Wall Street. And now look at what's happening to some of our companies. Distributed denial of service attacks that are gaining in momentum, intensity, and frequency. About a month ago, an email was sent out to all users about MyPay that it was actually uh, another portal that was taking us to. And there's a lot of folks that, uh, while they're using these mobile devices, they're just logging in with a password, with username and password, and they were actually logging in into other portal with their password and that right there was giving them enough information of what that person makes and other data that could be used against you. So we recommend turning on all the, encrypt all the security features, encryption features, uh, so we can be protected. You've heard Secretary Panetta talk about his concern about a cyber Pearl Harbor. And so we're doing everything we can to prevent that. But here's the reality. It goes back to cyber legislation and solving this problem. Government cannot do it by itself. No one agency in government can do it by itself. It's going to take a team. And that team in government has got to work with you. If the user's in doubt, reach out to your G6 or your information insurance folks. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of resources now that can educate us against these folks that are constantly poking at our networks. This death by a thousand cuts is essentially exploitation into our networks. People coming in, stealing intellectual property, gaining access for their own purpose to do things. But there are other problems coming our way. And this, this right here can be mitigated by uh, having your antivirus, your adware, and all these tools that protect your machine from being infected. And we have to think about how we defend these networks better. Because if we've all been hacked, that means we can all be attacked. And if we can be attacked, we have a vulnerability that from my perspective is critical to the operation of this country. No matter the device being used to access the internet, today's military must practice cyber awareness at all times in order to stay one step ahead of cyber terrorists. From National Guard Bureau Headquarters, thanks for watching this edition of On Every Front.